Hi there, this is Farhan and welcome to Designer's Law. Today I'll show you how to censor anything in a photo or in a video. To censor an image, we'll be using Adobe Photoshop. We can use both Adobe After Effects or Premiere Pro to censor a clip and we'll see both in this tutorial. So without any further ado, let's get started. So we are now in Photoshop and if you want to download this photo and follow along, you know what to do. Suppose you want to censor this burger without any reason. Then first you need to make a selection. Select any selection tool you like and just select the burger. Now go to filter, pixelate and then mosaic. Select a suitable amount and hit ok. Now if you want to modify it, well you can't. You can undo it but you cannot change the amount. But if you first convert it to a smart object, then you can change the value anytime you want. So right click and convert it to a smart object. Now select the object that you want to censor. Then go to filter, pixelate and then mosaic. I will select a high value and then hit ok. If you want to change it, just double click in mosaic and now you can modify it. Ok, now let's talk about how to censor something in a video clip. So we are now in Adobe After Effects. Suppose in this clip, you want to hide her pretty face. If I play this clip, you will see her face isn't moving so much. So in this case, what we need to do, right click, new and select adjustment layer. Or you can go to layer, new and then select adjustment layer. Now go to effects and presets and search for mosaic. Not the upper one, select the lower one and drag it to our adjustment layer. The whole clip is affected, so we need to mask it. With the adjustment layer selected, select the ellipse tool and cover her face. If you don't select the adjustment layer and try to make a circle, it will create a shape instead of creating a mask. So make sure you select the adjustment layer first and then mask it. Also you can play with these numbers. Higher value means more blocks and less sensor. Choose an amount according to your need. Now if I play, you can see her face is covered throughout the entire clip. Ok, let's see another example where the object or subject is moving. Suppose in this clip, we want to hide his face. If I play this clip, you can see the subject is moving. So if I try to censor his face with our previous method, let's see what happens then. First create a new adjustment layer. Go to effects and presets and select mosaic. Now with the help of ellipse tool, create a mask and adjust the amount. If I play now, you can see the mask remains in the same position but the face isn't. So what we need to do is track his face. Let me just delete the adjustment layer. And now go to tracker. If you can't see it here then just go to windows and then tracker. In tracker, click track motion. You will see two boxes like this. Now place the box in such a place where it can be easily differentiated from other areas. For example, a different color or contrast. I will place it in his eyebrow since it is different from the skin color. The inner frame or box is the tracking area and the outer box is the searching area. If you make it too big, After Effects will take a lot of time analyzing each frame and if you make it too small, After Effects will find it difficult to track the area. So don't go to extreme, select something medium. Once you place it, click this icon. It will analyze each frame and try to track it down. This will take some time so I'll just fast forward it. As you can see, After Effects did a very good job. It tracked it perfectly. If I press U, you can see the keyframes. But sometimes what happens is After Effects cannot track certain areas. In that case, you can just adjust it manually. Just go to that particular frame and move it just like this. But in this case, I don't need it, so I'll just undo it. Now we need to create a null object. Right click, new and then click null object. In short, null object is an invisible layer that can hold properties of a visible layer. Anyway, now click edit target. With null 1 selected, hit ok. 
then click apply apply dimension x and y and click ok now if i play you can see that null object is following the tracked area now create an adjustment layer then go to effects and presets and search for mosaic and apply it to the adjustment layer like before with the ellipse tool we need to mask it change the amount according to your need now if i play well it won't follow because the adjustment layer and the null object are not linked so select the pick whip and drag the line to the null object now these two are linked if i play now you can see the adjustment layer is following the tracker okay now we can do exactly the same in premiere pro if you don't use after effects then this part is for you so now here we are in premiere pro remember the first clip she wasn't moving so much right in this case go to effects and search for mosaic and then apply it go to effect controls and create an ellipse mask place it to her face and then adjust it here also you can see these values i am using the same effect mosaic everywhere so that you don't get confused okay now if i play see her face is covered throughout the entire video in next example we'll track his face like we did in after effects so again select mosaic from effects and then drag it to our clip go to effect controls and mask it adjust it according to our need now if i click this icon premiere pro will analyze each frame and try to track the mask which is his face once it's done you can see it added keyframes here now if i play you can see it tries to track it but from here it didn't do a very good job but we can always edit these keyframes manually or we can track it backward but before you click that adjust the mask first and then click here as you can see it tries to track it again so now if i play this time it did a good job even after that if you see some wrong in certain frames just adjust it manually so this is how you can censor or hide any object or subject in a photo or in a video i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please like and subscribe and don't just subscribe ring the bell so that you don't miss anything stay safe take care everyone thank you so much for watching